A lot of time, I'll notice people will be kind of waiting and ready. A lot of time, people will be like ready and like waiting for Bayonetta's landing, and they'll try to jump up and hit it, and they'll be too slow, and she'll just fastball and throw her whole body onto them. That's what I've noticed. A lot of time, if you're not quite ready for the nair, you're not actively going out to hit her out of it, you're trying to catch her landing, sometimes... Uh, it can be scary, and you'll end up getting hit by the late hitbox anyways. Okay. But, uh, obviously not the case for Manny. Yeah, and I mean, I normally don't have too much of an issue with it. I know if I throw out a hitbox, she should be able to challenge it yeah. fairly well. She's got those long legs. <laughs> wait, so, oh wait, this, wait, that was Winter's Finals? Wait, was... That no, was that was Semis. Was okay, that was okay, Semis. So, good. so okay. uh, up next we should be getting Dyer, yeah, Dyer versus, versus Manny. Manny. Alright, okay. Yeah, it's just like this all the time. Yeah, because that was a, a 2 so. Excited okay. to see what happens here. I know they have quite the history. They've played a lot in the past. <laughs> uh, I know historically Manny... Yeah, no, Manny normally... Manny has, has the advantage as far as, you know, head-to-head -head set count. Yeah. But I mean, Dyer, obviously, super, super strong player in his own right, so... Yeah, no, I mean, last time they played was at TGL Divided, and they Dyer was actually the closest to taking a set off of Manny. He was. Um, everybody else, I think, got 3 0 or 3 1. <laughs> yeah. So. Manny, or, yeah, Manny really turned it up at Divided. Didn't he 6 0 ESAM? Um. I. I think uh, ECM took one game. One game? Okay. He, he 6 0 at MVD, I believe. MVD, mm, okay. Yeah. Uh, Man. But I think he might have taken a game, too. I'm not sure. But it was, Regardless, it was like he. Was in complete <laughs> control. Pretty amazing stuff. I was I was really surprised. Yeah, and I mean like the most is like they might have gotten the stock, but he was still a low percent and all that. So it's funny. It was like everybody said. You know, people were joking about it. It's like you know the whole thing is CFL versus SFL, 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 and then, just and Tampa. then Tampa and he runs a train on everybody. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. No, I think but, the only person from Tampa was Manny and Top A. Um, yeah. I know. I think Rudy made seven. I want to say. Rydia. Oh really? I think he did. Okay. Well. Uh, on the topic of the match right now, we have Dyer with a early lead, which is good. Only a minute in, and he's uh, at just about half the percent. Well, not quite, but... Ooh, okay. Ooh, I love those aerial banana confirms. Yeah. A lot of time you see Diddy's like to stick to the ground a lot. You know, they, they want to sit there and wait. You know, they're holding yeah. banana. There's no reason they should do anything. Yeah, no, for sure. But one of the best camping situations like that where you know they're gonna air dodge. Oh, or <gasps> it's big on air dodge. Oh my god, that was so close. But that di. And oh no, that you're dead. Jeez, you're dead. Man, man, he's calling out everything right now. Yeah, no, I mean, I think this is kind of a thing about more of any understanding Dyer's mentality. Yeah. Oh, I agree. So, like, ooh. I feel like um, Dyer's playing the matchup pretty well, but the thing is, like, Manny kind of knows how Dyer likes to panic. And then when he sees that happening, that he's just gonna immediately go for that option to yeah. to the fullest. Ooh, oh, I think there's yeah, I, there he, was definitely supposed to be a jump. That was supposed to be a double jump bear, because he definitely had it. Yeah. But uh Input oh, error. Yeah. Wow, he called that out so hard. Uh, oh, that's one thing that's interesting about Sonic is when you know when you played enough against Sonic, you know that when he holds that spin dash, he's locked in. Yeah. If you hold it for like, I think it's like one second, once it's fully charged up, you see that flash, you know he's got to let it rip. There's no way he can cancel it. Okay, you mean when he's doing down B? Because I know uh, one of them you can do like, uh, side B is the one where you can shield. Yes, but the thing is that's only during the startup. Okay. As soon as you see that flash, this is something, something a lot of people need to know. As soon as you see the little flash when he's charging up his side B, it means he has to let it go no matter what. He can't really? Okay, yeah. Wow. He I, can't I cancel into shield that. once once he's held it for too long. Okay. Right. Yeah. So I think that's what happened there when he got that forward smash. Was he knew that he wasn't going to be able to shield because he held it too long. At that point, it's it's just a matter of timing it correctly. So that flash right there. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that actually changes my whole entire perspective on all this. Works. Yeah, I know. See, he's locked in. Yeah. He had to let go. He couldn't. Um, but goodness gracious, right now, Dyer in a rough spot. He is one hit from death. Both players are one hit from death, but just like before. No, there's one hit from death. That's the death. <laughs> that 
was a really good catch. That's the one thing that Dyer likes to do a lot is he'll go for the edge cancels on that side B. Yeah, no, I mean, definitely that's the best thing you want to do because, you know, there's a, there's not that much lag on side B, but there is enough that you can't get punched, especially with a character like Sonic. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. But it's, it's crazy because, like, Monkey Flip, even though it, you know, it, it travels so far and, you know, you got those edge cancels, it's so deceivingly powerful when you go for the flip kick. Oh, yes. Oh, so, like, late. in situations like that where they edge cancel it, even if you're shielding, it, even if you shield it, you're not going to be able to punish it when yeah. he edge cancels it because it just has too much shield stun. Yeah, no, like, that's, that, like if they edge cancel, I mean, they can just literally They just can do it. It doesn't matter. It's like, okay, that's when you got to start thinking, what's he going to do after he does the edge cancel? Because yeah. you know he's scotch free after the edge cancel. It's a matter of, is he going to double jump after it? Is he going to air dodge? Is he going to go for the ledge? Gonna, like, monkey flip command grab me? Ooh. So, that's oh. another thing about this matchup is when that banana is on the field and Sonic wants to spin dash, it's pretty much like a barrier for him. Yeah, it's always going like, to stop him immediately. It's going to stop him oh, right in place. he got the air dodge. Wow, amazing stuff. Wow, game one going to Dire. I'm surprised that was that that was like in the you know in the percent range for him to get that. You know, I, I figured he would be too far away. I mean, when you looked at it, he didn't like um, up air at all. So that was a pretty fresh up air. Yeah. He had a max rage, town and city, very very close to the upper blast zone. Wow, as well. So um, I can definitely see it killing because I I've seen it kill when it was. It was like almost, uh, it was like around the battlefield platforms and it just killed at like one time. One yeah, time. yeah, yeah. Well, it, the, the percentage is one thing, but what I was more surprised about was the fact that it, he was able to connect it in general, you know? Yeah. Like, I figured it would have been too high of a percent for, uh, for, for it to even be able to connect. Nah, I mean, if you're at air dodge percent, then, um, that's always gonna work. Um, okay, wait, oh. So right now, Like, okay, so Dyer's doing a pretty good job of trying to control the ground right now. Whenever Manny's coming in, just throwing out that down tilt just to catch him um, coming in. And then especially on this stage, you're going to want to put one of those banana peels on the platform so it controls where Sonic will be able to land safely. And then the other thing too is like since um, he does have those platforms, he's going to be trying to camp them most likely, but of course when you don't have the percent lead, not going to really be an option available to you. So that's where we're kind of seeing Manny go in a little bit more aggressive than usual right now. So, Mantos. Alright. Ooh, okay, that was good air dodge. Try to get the reversal there, but Manny's still going to put him in a bad situation. These platforms are definitely coming into play a lot right here. I think, or at least they are going to more now that uh, there's a deficit. Oh my god, that DI was so bad. <laughs> yeah, it and was. That was dead. scary. <laughs> that was pretty scary. But um, yeah, we're seeing a lot of springs. Come oh, that's yeah, it. That wow. Yeah. See, now this is where it's going to be rough. Because on this stage, obviously, Manny loves to play with the platforms and try to stay away from you. But now he doesn't really have that option because yeah. he's at such a deficit. He's basically he's forced to go on the offensive, which can be rough with these uh, yeah, with, just with these platforms. The they can get in the way a little bit. Yeah. But at the same time, they can help you because they can get a, if if you get a hit in and they're forced to land on one of the platforms, uh, it can it can help you net a kill. But oh my God, almost killing for right another there, one. Yeah. Jeez, that was close. Back there. Yeah, that's gonna take it. All right, still at a 69% deficit. Um, do definitely doable for him still, but Dyer just needs to make sure that he plays the solid neutral game that he was doing before, just controlling the entire stage and just kind of refusing areas for Manny to go to. And now Manny seems like he's sort of in complete control. Dyer's kind of scared to throw out that banana peel, and Manny seems like he's being full, fully well aware of that. Okay. Trying to keep him off stage, doing a really good job with uh, you know locking him out with those fares. Ooh, banana coming in coverage. clutch there. Yeah. I like that. He caught that neutral get up. No, you can definitely tell that Dyer threw it up there just so he knew he'd be safe um, the second he went up there to challenge Manny. Yep, very smart. Okay, but Dyer playing a little bit of runaway of his own doesn't seem to be going too well so far. Uh, deficit's definitely closing out. 
That only about 40% between them, but ooh, I'm surprised he missed that grab. Yeah, no, I mean, the thing is, he couldn't he couldn't dash in to catch that because yeah, of the banana. banana. Yeah, yeah. So, so right now, these banana placements are just so smart from God. They right? are. He's really covering all of his tracks. Okay. Ooh, he went for the second one. That probably would have done it too. It was super high up there. Yeah. But right now, Dyer's just trying to play as patient as he can and get one confirm. One confirm is all it's going to take. Oh! <gasps> wow. Amazing. That's why. Uh, that's exactly why Manny loves these platforms because they they enable him to do so many of these, you know, these kill setups with the spring. But the difference is because he's got those platforms to land on, it, it lets him. Well, it lets him mix up the timing more. You know, it's a lot less of him having to reach all the way up there. Whereas, you know, he can just land down on it and go for it again, just like we just saw, if he has to. Yeah. We're going back to Smashville. 1-1. One, one, uh, yeah. Platform. <laughs> even if it's just one platform, uh, I think it, I think both players are going to have to find their their, chi their chances to, to benefit off of that. Yeah. I mean, I feel like both characters can kind of camp on it equally as well. The other thing, yeah. too, is like, <gasps> it'll help them recover. He tried to go for the He was key. trying to catch that. <laughs> Jump from the ledge. Yeah, the Ooh, the back air! Wow, I've never just... seen that before. That was amazing. The back air just—he just caught him coming back down with the second up air. I've seen that before, but I've never seen a Sonic extend it again with a with a spring into another up air. That's pretty wild stuff. Yeah, no, it's just like, oh wow, he used a spring a ride. Low there. spring okay. ride. Manny right now pulling out all this crazy stuff I've never seen. See right there, he. Uh, he covered his option, his his option with the spring there when he was on the ledge. Basically said, "You're not dropping from this ledge." Forced him to pick one of the other options. Okay. Good job with Dyer recovering right there. I thought he was. Yeah, um, he's doing a really good job at getting back to the stage. Can definitely be hard to deal with that spring, especially with Diddy. Yeah, it kind of seems like Dyer's losing a little bit of his composure too. It's like, yeah, it like he hasn't grounded himself just yet. Ooh, right there, that was an interesting um, call out. Manny wasn't even drifting in that direction. But okay, it seems like he's getting on his ground again. Yeah. See, it was a one thing I noticed right there was a, a smart decision from Dyer. Instead of trying to go for, uh, you know, extra damage off the down tilt. Oh. Ooh, he's gonna make it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Good job. Yeah. But like, instead of going for a conversion off the down tilt, he decided just to use it as a get off me tool so that he could go get his banana bat. Yeah, I mean, definitely I feel like having the banana out is helping him out so much in all these sets so far. Yeah. But I'm kind of surprised he didn't catch that with an up smash. He went for a nair instead. Yeah. I mean, I guess he wasn't, like, fully confident. He didn't want to go yeah. for such a high-risk maneuver. Yeah, because if you miss that, it could very easily mean <gasps> oh! an F smash. That wow. Was that was amazing. Yeah, that's one of the things that Diddy Kong players, like, that's one of the main mix-ups that Diddy Kong players utilize is when they toss a banana. It, it puts you in the mindset that they want to pick up the banana. You know yeah, what I mean? You normally try to do You try to go for it. Like you're like, okay, I'm gonna hit him before he picks it up, and then suddenly there's a down tilt or an F smash or something in your face. Scary stuff. Definitely is. There's layers to to everything. Ooh, okay. Try to punch him with an air, but that was. Not gonna do it all. I like that perfect pivot down tilt. You saw that? Yeah. Every time Dyer, every time Dyer does that, I always pick that up. I'm always like, I see you, Dyer. <laughs> I mean, it's just such a strong tool. It's like basically you're just like spacing yourself with a pivot and then just throwing out a banana. Or yeah. A of a banana. <laughs> but, oh. Oof, that's scary stuff right there. When you're stuck all the way on the side, you don't know what they're going to do when they land. It can be rough. You don't know if he's going to try to throw you off. You don't know if he's going to try to catch one of your defensive options. Went for a, a nair off of that, but... Yeah, platform confrontations are always going to be one of the scarier things. It's kind of like a 50-50 there uh, when you do that, the up throw in the back air. Because you can either come down with an up air to, to catch their air dodge, or just go straight for the nair if you think they're not going to air dodge. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, got the down tilt. Good stop. 
Uh, okay. Right now, Dyer looks like he's, he's sort of running away with this right now. But yeah. Is, um, if you remember from last game, Manny was still able to clutch it out, even though he was at such a deficit. But it seems like Dyer's just doing a good job of um, making sure he's avoiding all of Manny's movements toward him, and then just finding the right appropriate punish to make sure that Manny has to go away. Every single time, yeah. that's going to do it. Yeah. That's nice. One thing I noticed was every single time Manny started doing a spin dash, uh, Dyer was always running away with banana in hand. Reach that corner shield, so that way if he did spin and dash and shield jump, there was no options for him that were safe. Throw the banana at him, and then if he was lucky, the platform was there, then he'd be able to get a free punish off him. Right, right. I think, I honestly, I think the main reason Dyer was able to run away with that game is just because of the stage. Yeah, um, but the stage yeah, With the platforms, it gives Sonic so many more options. You know, out of his spin dash, he's allowed to land in so many different ways. He can drop through the platform, he can dare like just backs down onto the stage like between the platforms he has so many more ways to mix up see we're seeing it right here see how he always jumps out of the spin dash and goes straight out on the platform yeah when it's a flat stage like that he doesn't have, he doesn't have that the, uh, privilege sure he's yeah. forced to basically whenever he jumps out of his spin dash he's forced to find a way to land which landing against diddy kong obviously so hard is what he has it's really hard well. especially when it's a flat stage like that so yeah, I mean, here now he has other options. Because if you go yeah. to the top platform, you really have to commit to uh, punishing that. And then even on this stage, since the platforms are slightly higher, you're going to have to make sure yeah. you do a full hop to get on there. I think this is what we're going to see a lot of, you know, for the rest of this game. Like I said, you know, the platforms give Manny so many more options. Um, it's going to be tough for Dyer to bring this back. I mean, he's Diddy Kong. Obviously, we know, one good conversion can bring it back. But the problem is just getting a hit in neutral in general. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, definitely, uh, the one thing that I want to see Dyer do, which I don't really see him doing right at the moment, is trying to control those platforms with that banana peel. Yeah. I mean, of course, uh, Manny will be able to go up and catch it, but if he, do, if he does go up and catch it, you can call him out for trying to do that. Definitely. Um, definitely. And the other thing, too, is he's also springing a lot afterwards, so if he does toss a banana on there, there is going to be like just a brief moment of time where um, Manny's just going to be sort of helpless. So he's gonna have to decide what. No! No! Oh, he didn't get he the second hit. By hit. The first one. He didn't yeah. get the second hit. That would have been insane. I mean, just stuff like that is always just gonna get you. It's scary. Yeah. That's the kind of stuff you gotta keep on your mind when you're playing against this character. Now, I've actually never really seen anybody spring, be able to spring ride that easily. It's, just like, it's like literally he's just spring riding in neutral, which is. That's nuts. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane, but you know, it goes to show that Sonic's not quite as linear of a character as a lot of people think. You know, there's yeah. a lot of there's a lot of players that think, you know, Sonic's just a gimmick character. Ooh, he went for a Z drop there, just like Diddy Kong does. Yeah, I, would, I don't know what happened to the banana. It looks like it just kind of he Z dropped it to catch his uh, his jump from the ledge. That's exactly what happened. But he yeah. missed the follow up on it. He he went for okay, an up air. Did hit him? Yeah, he went. Well, he hit him with the banana, but the up air. Since he was Diddy was pretty much like inside him, he wasn't yeah. able to connect it. Probably a uh, nair, a nair probably would have been a better option. Yeah, nair was probably the only option at that point. But still, a really nice play regardless. Okay, oh, up yeah, throw I'll definitely take gonna take it on the top platform. Uh, so now Dyer's gonna be forced to try to bring this back, but it's gonna be a rough timer to about half uh, the way the uh, the halfway point. Yeah. Dyer's. Got to make something happen pretty quickly here. Okay, I mean, he's got Manny at the ledge. He has that banana to control that um, side platform. But yeah. And he still can find his way around. The thing is, all the time that he spends, you know, wh whenever... That should nice, be a yeah, That's yeah, true. No Hold rage. No rage Diddy can do some pretty crazy things like that. But, um... Just like that, the, this game has gone and taken a complete turn. Because normally... Uh... You know, when when you're forced to make a comeback against Sonic, all the time that you're spending trying to catch him is, you know, it's time ticking on the clock. You know what I mean? Yeah. It basically turns into a race against the timer. But Dyer was lucky enough to get that grab, and now he's... Yeah, both of them basically at even percents now, so Dyer doing a really good job of beating it back up. But it actually cool, taking cool, the cool. lead now. Good stuff. Okay, get that trade going in his favor right there. I just want to keep him juggle, but ooh, that's not what you want! Now we're gonna start seeing a lot more of an aggressive game from Manny. Ooh, he got that up air, but it wasn't quite enough. I wanna see Dyer start trying to call out all these um, um, up throws with like a fair. Yeah. If he's not a fair, it should be able to catch Manny. Because he's, he's only been like air dodging every time. Or or if if the percents are right and Manny ends up like going right up into him with the up B, he can just throw out an up air. 
His up air is actually like his fastest aerial. So, uh, Diddy Kong, if he notices the the, the positioning is right, he can just up air you out of out of your throw combos. Oh. It's not pre patch Diddy, but <laughs> no, pre patch Diddy. That used to <laughs> oh hit my god! That takes it. And Dyer Amazing! Finally, finally takes a set against Manny 3-1 <laughs> at SmackDown. I can't believe that that call out was amazing. That's the second time he did that. He yeah. called out that that uh, spin dash. You know, he, he just had a he just had a good sense of when Manny wants to spin dash into him. He did. He he, he knew every single time. Yeah, no, I mean, it definitely looks like he just did his homework and just understood what he needed to do in that match and what to do sp more specifically against Manny. Cause, yeah. Uh, I don't know how often he struggles against other Sonics. Like, I mean, I can't imagine he struggles against Will. I don't know if he's yeah. ever struggled against um, Street Shark. Um, I'll have to ask about that, but I just always feel like it's just been Manny that's... Manny's, I mean, it makes sense. I mean, Manny's yeah, Manny. like, <laughs> he's one of the top Sonics out there. Yeah, PGR. I, 